Hi, this is Root from Root Spinoot. I'm playing a map I made. And it's on a super flat map. So yeah. It'll be available in the description, so there'll be a link there. It may not you may not spawn here, so the coordinates just in case. So what this game is Roots Archery Range and Dunk Tank. This map can be really any number of players. You don't even have to play together. As you can see, there's a dunk tank, bow and arrows, lag, an on off switch for the dunk tank, a painting, supplies for resetting the course slash tank, and there's four targets. Each target. <coughs> Each target closest, middle, far, and farthest. Closest, middle, far, and farthest. Each one has a painting inside. They all look the same. And if you knock the painting off, it should trigger one of those. The middle effect, like, the middle sign is the effect if you knock it off to whatever happens in there. If that is turned on. If it is turned off, none of these will work. Middle closest dunks the person, middle shoots the arrow, far shoots a fire charge, and the farthest you'll have to play to find out. Each one is worth amount of, a certain amount of points, lowest score wins. Really, if you only use four shots, you get zero. But if you take multiple shots for the closest one, you're doing pretty bad, kind of. No offense. Um, you do not have to hit the farthest target, but it's worth negative. I would suggest playing this on peaceful, which I am. This is also um, using mods and a texture pack. Mods is too many items and mod loader and the texture pack is from Painterly Pack. Any amount of arrows are allowed. It's the player's choice. Really, if you want to set like challenges for you and your friends, uh, least amount of points wins. It's the rules don't really matter much. You really, you can do whatever you want. I would suggest doing this. Um, for the dunks, uh, it's recommended that you use five arrows, and you can only hit one target. Because if you hit multiple, it might mess up. Because it sets off a pressure plate, which like if it sets up the pressure pressure plate it does not turn off until you mo remove the painting each tower is the same this path is for resetting so lag come on this lag is really bad Actually, no, I'm going to keep those there. Get my own. Here's a bow. Bunch of arrows. Aha! Let's see if I can do this. Sorry. My computer froze. So let's see how well I can do this. Not very well. Notice the lights turned on. See, I'm not good at this. Right now I'm getting a I was getting a warning on my computer that I'm running low on disk space. I am not good at this. There we go. I don't think I've ever actually been able to hit this target. Oh yes, yeah, stand behind this. Woo! Yeah, I hit him. Woo! 
So here's a dunk tank. There's stairs leading up into it. You will get hurt half a heart. Ow. So, like I said earlier, closest one will trigger this so you'll fall in. That one will be middle. That one will be... Uh, no, it's... Well, that one's far, that one's middle. And then you'll have to score in order to see what the other one does. Notice this one was missing a fire charge. I only want the best for you people. I'm still low on disk space. Just so it's more fun, if you're trapped, well, if you're in here, please don't steal any of the stuff. It just kind of makes it lame. So, yeah. Then there's a way out. Which just leads you right back here. Dunk tank on. Whoa! Oh, right. Each one of these is still on. So it's very easy. Just reset all the paintings. If you're going to reset it, may I suggest turning the dunk tank off? Otherwise, all the arrows and fire charges will. And the secrets will get set off. Really, very simple redstone. Just the painting triggers the pressure plates, it sends the charge all the way back. Ow. I've noticed the spawn point is kind of over there, so be careful. And I gave you the coordinates in the beginning. I'm just going to go creative and fly back. So yeah, this is my archery range, I guess. Test your skills and challenge your friends. And this is Root, signing off.